Good morning. In the last class, we had seen the derivation for the depression of a cantilever loaded at the free end. Today, we are going to find out the depression of a beam which is supported at the ends and loaded at the middle. So the picture will be like this. We had a horizontal beam and we are suspending weight at its middle. So what happens to both the ends A and B? A and B will bend like this as you can see in the picture. So here we, are take, we have taken AB which is of uniform cross section. And it is supported by two knife edges. You can see two arrows to the left and right of the point, middle point O. So that arrows are known as the knife edges which are used to do, these knife edges are used to support the beam. So we supported our beam AB by these two knife edges and we load at the middle point with a load W. So W is the weight loaded at the midpoint of the beam. The distance or the length between the knife edges is denoted as capital L and as we have done in the last derivation here also the weight of the beam is neglected. So we had loaded with a weight W at the midpoint of the beam. So that is the action. So what will be the reaction here? So the reaction is at the supports means at the knife edges will be W by 2 upwards. We can consider this beam as equivalent to two invert cantilevers. See, think that you had made a cut at the middle point. So you will get two pieces. So we are cutting that you are cutting the beam at the, its middle point that is through O you are cutting. So what you will get? You will get two pieces, isn't it? OA and OB. Isn't it? So we can consider this beam to be equivalent to two invert cantilevers OA and OB. Each of length L by 2 and each is loaded with upward load W by 2. See we have loaded a weight at the middle point so that what happens to the beam at the ends the ends got elevated and the middle point got depressed so the depression at O will be equal to the elevation at the ends you can just imagine Taking a scale of yours, just put a weight at the middle portion of the scale. What happens? The middle portion will get depressed. Now what about the end portions? End portions will be elevated upwards. So we can see that the depression at O will be equal to the elevation at the ends. So now we are considering only one section 
and we are considering a vertical section at P in which P is at a distance X from the middle point O and since this part is of length L by 2 and we are considering only a vertical section P at P which is at a distance X from O and we are considering the part PB. So what is the moment of the deflecting couple? We know that moment is equal to force into distance. So in this portions we know that a W by 2 is acting upwards. So the force is W by 2 into distances PB. Now how we will calculate PB? The full length is L by 2 and OP is X. So PB will be L by 2 minus X. So that is the moment of the deflecting couple about P. And we know that now after bending the beam is in equilibrium. Equilibrium means uh, the deflecting couple will be equal and opposite to the restoring couple. So what is the restoring couple? That is the moment. Um, what is the moment of the restoring couple? That is the known as the bending moment. Once again I repeat we had only considered a vertical session P which is at a distance X and here the deflecting the portion OB gets elevated due to the reaction force W by 2 which is acting upwards. So this is the deflecting couple. So what is the moment of the deflecting couple? It is W by 2 into L by 2 minus X. And the beam will be in equilibrium position means this deflecting couple will be equal and opposite to the restoring couple. So we had found out the expression for the moment of the deflecting couple. Now what is the moment of the restoring couple which is known as the bending moment which we had found out that yig by r. So the moment of the deflecting couple is equal to the moment of the restoring couple. So we can equate both the equation and we can substitute the radius of curvature as 1 by d square y by dx square which we had done in our last class. And you can rearrange and find out the value of d square y by dx square. So we got d square y by dx square as w by 2 y i g into l by 2 minus x. What we'll do to find out y from d square y by dx square? We have to integrate, isn't it? So on integrating, we will get a dy by dx. The value will be, give, will be there with an additional constant of c1 which is the constant of integration. So we will get we get dy by dx as w by 2 y i g into l x by 2 minus x square by 2 plus c1. Now how we will find the value of c1 by applying condition that at O that is at middle point what will be the value of x? x is 0. So, is there any deviation for the middle point O? No. That means, is there any depression? No. So, dy by dx is equal to 0. That means, again, you can substitute at x is equal to 0, dy by dx is equal to 0. And you will find C1 as 0. So, integrating that equation dy by dx again, you will get a y with an another constant of in integration C2. Again to find out C2 we are giving the values at O that is at O x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So that on substituting x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 in the above equation we will get C2 as a 0. So what is y? y is 
4 sorry w by 2 y i g into l x square by 4 minus x cube by 6. And at the free end, where is the free end? Free end is at b, isn't it? So what happens if we consider b as our point? x will be l by 2. So at the free end, x is equal to l by 2 and the depression is delta. So the depression is given as delta. The total depression is given as delta since b has changed to a new position b. So at the free end we can substitute x as l by 2 and depression y as delta. So do it in your notebook and you will find out the delta that is the depression of the beam which is loaded at the middle as w l cube by 48 y i g. Now we can go for both the rectangular cross section as well as circular cross section B. So for a beam of rectangular cross section as we know that the geometrical moment of inertia is IG which is equal to BDQ by 12. So substitute IG as BDQ by 12 and simplify you will get a delta that is depression as a WLQ by 4Y BD cube. Similarly, for a beam of circular cross section, IG is equal to pi R raised to 4 by 4. So, delta is equal to, on simplifying, we will get it as W L cube by 12 Y pi R raised to 4. Where R is the radius. See, in the case of circular cross section, that R is the radius. And what about the rectangular cross section? For rectangular cross section, B is the breadth and D is the thickness of the beam. And we had said that W is the weight attached to the middle point of the beam. If M is the mass attached, what will be W? W will be Mg which is acting downwards. So again you can substitute W as Mg in the expression and can again rewrite the expression for depression. I hope it's clear to you. Thank you.